You're either powerful and important or you're not. And the way you become powerful and important is one wealth, money helps. Yeah. But as I've got rich, I've realized that's not enough. You need to have very, very powerful friends. There's a reason why governments lobby. There's a reason why rich people support political parties. There's a reason why these governments, uh, they, sorry, these companies throw money towards uh, governments and lobby, especially in the United right. States. Yeah, because you're trying to buy power. Yeah. That's all it's really about. I didn't want to be rich. I wanted to be powerful. I'm rich now. I have enough money to do whatever I want. Yeah, fine. That's great. But there's no such thing as enough power. I have quite a lot of power. I would like to consider myself a very powerful individual. I'd, I'd certainly be a very, very dangerous enemy. But you can never get enough of that. So yeah. this, is what, this is what drives me. To answer your question, yeah. this is what drives it's me. It's power. It's power because I think that's what every man intrinsically desires. If every man's totally honest with himself, I think we've all evolved to, to sense and seek power. I think this is the reason why we train in the gym. It's the reason we try and get money. It's the reason we try and, and show status. It's the reason why men of old used to walk around with swords and just, just kill anyone who was in their way. For power. This is who we are, right? And this is the same thing that men do now, but it's on a, a fiscal financial battleground. This is why men are more motivated to work so hard and get rich than females on average, because men want to feel powerful. Women, yeah. they don't care.